What's going on, everybody? It is Daniel Weafi, and I am coming at you with a video that's not even about making money. Surprise, surprise. So it's actually about beards, all right, and facial hair and all that stuff that makes us men. So you ladies, y'all can tune out or y'all can tune in, you know? I don't know, maybe you guys are trying to grow a beard too. But um, I, this video is actually for those people that want to check out and see what I'm doing uh, growing my beard, all right? So uh, let me give you guys a story, all right? So uh, last year, I grew out my beard really, really thick. And some of you guys may call it a Hebrew beard or whatever, all right? But it was like really thick. It was about maybe probably about down to right here, really thick, you know, really luscious and whatnot. And, you know, sometimes as brothers who ain't got no hair on top of our head, you know, we want to have a little bit of uniqueness to us. So we grow out some beards, right? And so anyways, um, I had, I grew out my beard for about six months and uh, um, I got tired of it. You know, I uh, was running a few months ago doing some jogging and it was getting all sweaty and stuff like that and got a little bit irritated. And then uh, there were these uh, two uh, ladies uh, that uh, I had known, they were associates, uh, and they're like, you grew your beard that long, you know, and like, you need to trim it, you need to cut it. And, you know, I started self-doubting myself and, you know, I'd be asking my wife about it and she was like, yeah, yeah, I like it. But, you know, she kind of said that with that look like, uh, maybe I'm just saying it just to make you feel happy and appease you and whatnot. And so, you know, I started self-doubting myself and whatnot. And so, like, I was like, all right, let me uh, take my little clippers, right? <laughs> I was like, let me take my, my, my little clippers and I was like, and I cut it all off and um, I actually um, cut it uh, really down low where I kind of had it uh, like as a strip right so it was like I forget what you call them I think chin strap type beards where it was coming down it was narrow and it was like really really nicely cut and lined up and whatnot and then you know kind of came into here it was connecting and the, you know like the mustache was kind of uh, cut down low and whatnot and, uh, you know, it was looking uh, pretty legit. And then um, uh, a couple weeks, well, actually about three weeks ago, I actually just shaved it all off, okay? So I shaved off my mustache and um, I shaved all this off. So all I had was like a little tiny goatee, which I even cut the goatee down a little bit low as well, all right? And so um, I rocked that look for about, probably about, let me switch up my hands because my arm is getting tired. Um, I rocked that style for a couple weeks and um, when I cut my beard and my mustache, this area right here, I hadn't cut my mustache for like 20, almost 20 years, okay? I'm 37 years old and I hadn't had a bare lip since literally high school. So literally since I was like 17, 18 years old, all right? And so, you know, I cut out my little mustache. It was kind of kind of bright up here, you know, where the sun didn't hit and whatnot, and it took a, about a good week for my son and my wife to get used to that, because my wife, she had never seen me with a bare lip either, you know, she, we've been together for about uh, 16 years, I want to say, about 15, 16 years, and she was like, just looking at me like, like I was a different dude, <laughs> and whatnot, <laughs> I was scared that she was going to try and divorce me, she was like, looking at me like she didn't recognize me, and uh, my son, you know, he took the cake with his reaction, he was like, when he... Uh, first looked at me when I uh, picked him up from his learning center. He's out for summer for, uh, from his school. He's uh, in first grade going into second grade this fall. And so he was just looking at me like, you look like a new person. I don't recognize you, daddy. And he was like, you look so young. And I was like, how, how young do I look like I am? And he was like, you look like you're 25 years old. And I was like, well, thank you. You know, that really did something for my uh, little psyche, right? And then uh, he uh, he messed it up by saying, uh, it doesn't look good on you. And I was like, does it look ugly? And he was like, um. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, my boy said I look ugly, right? And, you know, I was just assuming that. But, all right. Well, anyways, you know the thoughts that we be thinking, right, in our head. So, anyways, uh, what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm actually going to grow it thick. So I live in, out in Vegas, and it gets to be about 115 to 120 degrees during the the uh, summertime. So I'm it, it's it's the beginning of July as I record this. It's actually June 30th, and 
it should take me about three to four months before I get it nice and thick and luscious looking, you know, where it's all nice and curly. And I'll try and superimpose some some images of what my beard looked like in the past, just so that y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about, all right? But anyways, I'm two weeks in, okay? So this right here is about, about uh, 12 days of growth. So this is like all bald and whatnot. And what you want to do with your beard and your mustache if you're growing it in. Well, first off, if you want to grow a thick beard, um, you should definitely get your stuff even. Okay, so if you already have like a goatee or whatnot, you want to try and get that even in my opinion. So um, just, you know, kind of even it off or, you know, if you got scragglies, I would just shave it bald and then just let it grow naturally all right and uh the biggest thing that happens with a lot of folks uh especially brothers and people with you know a little bit bit of kinkiness in their hair is uh it, get, it gets a little bit uh dry and itchy and scratchy and so uh what you can do is you can use products like this and um i should get like like an endorsement deal but you should use stuff like this. This is called Cremo Beard and Scruff Cream. You can get it at Walmart and it costs like seven or eight bucks. You just put this stuff on your face. It smells nice and clean. It's all nice and citrusy smelling like, like an orange, you know, have you smelling like a lemon, you know? So like your wife will love you, all right? Um, if you're single, the ladies will love you. <laughs> I'm serious, I'll be like all up on your cheek and whatnot. But um, I digress. Uh, so use this and uh, use it twice a day, once in the morning, uh, actually just once a day, actually, you, you only need to use it once a day and, uh, just put it on your face. Okay. And then, uh, this right here, uh, you use this when, uh, your beard gets a little bit longer. I use this like, uh, when my beard was a little bit thicker, a couple, two, three times a week, just to put a nice shine to it. Okay. So you definitely want to get this as, uh, uh you go on, right? And you definitely want to have a brush, right? So you guys are like, why does he have a board brush when he ain't got no hair on his head? For the beard, okay? You don't want to have a nappy beard. Having a nappy beard is like a sin, all right? You got to make sure it's nice and straight. And plus, it's going to help with the itchiness, okay? It's going to go ahead and, you know, um, exfoliate your skin a bit and uh, make sure that you're nice and clean up here, okay? Uh, but yeah, anyways, you may go through a phase the first three, four weeks that you're growing your beard where it's kind of scratchy and uh, there's ways to combat that, okay? So brush, right? That will exfoliate your skin. That will help with whatever itch you may have or may not have. And then this right here, uh, the Cremo Beard and Scruff Cream. If you can't find it at Walmart, you can probably um, buy it off of Amazon or online or whatnot. But uh, let your beard grow for about, uh, let it grow for about four weeks before you like, you know, trim it and whatnot. Okay. Like, I mean, I trim myself a little bit like right here. Cause you know, I, I just know like what type of line I want to have, but, um, especially for you guys that have a tough time growing beards, um, just let it grow out because some people have patches. I don't really have much patches in my beard, maybe this little area right here, but as your hair grows longer, it will cover up the patches uh, of skin that are there. So you got to let it grow for at least 30 days, you know, just so you can see what you're working with. All right. You got to see what you're working with. All right. And uh, one more thing before I jump off of here, because my arm is getting tired. I just came from the gym and I'm holding this up and shoot. But anyways, uh, one last thing that you guys want to invest in. Let me see if I can find this. All right, right here. Uh, if you got a little bit of, you know, gray in your beard, you know, you want to get something like this. You want to get Just For Men and uh, the beard dye. And you, you want to keep yourself looking fresh, okay? Uh, just in, in my opinion, okay? Some of you guys may like having like a little bit of gray in your hair, you know, you, it makes you look mature and whatnot, but whatever, to each their own. You know, me, I don't want to look old and crap. You know what I'm saying? I got more years where I can look old if I want, you know? So I like keeping myself nice and fresh and, you know, kind of black. You know, I don't mind a couple gray hairs here and there, but yeah, I don't want to be looking all old and, you know, like Samuel L. Jackson or something like that. Um, this right here uh, is jet black. Um, I don't recommend that if you have a shorter beard. I only recommend that if you have a thicker beard, uh, it looks better. Uh, if you're really, really light skinned, uh, 
you probably don't want to use this. This will probably be too dark for you. I'm kind of dark, you know, I'm nice and chocolates. So I can use this, but if you're kind of lighter, then you probably don't want to use this. Um, this right here, this is uh, for the white folks. Uh, this is uh, black, but this is like, I guess, Italian guy black, right? Or Latino guy black. Uh, but this is black, but it's not jet black. Um, this works out well for if you have a short beard, about this length right here, you know, I put it on and it's not going to like stain your skin. So it's not going to look like fake, you know, like you don't want to look fake and like weird. So use this stuff if you got short hair and leave it in for like maybe three minutes versus five minutes and you'll be good to go. OK, so anyways. Um, oh, yeah. You like skinny people uh, <laughs> use this for your beards. It grows thicker as well. So anyways, peace. God bless. Follow me because I talk about good stuff. I talk about lifestyle stuff and I talk about making money and having freedom and all that stuff. So peace. and God bless y'all. Make sure you all subscribe to me and like this video and stuff.